with Congress reviewing a potential bill that could make regulation for the CEC and CFTC to properly regulate the cryptocurrency space, where will Bitcoin head next? Isn't this bullish for the sector? When we review the price action that Bitcoin's had over the last week, you can see that we actually rallied from the low to the high about 10%, which is pretty good news for Bitcoin, particularly when you see that this was a new high that broke through the highs of previous weeks, and this was a higher low that was set since last week. Typically, that is bullish. However, you'll notice that the parallel channels that we drew a few weeks ago still have an effect. Just as they had in the past, Bitcoin rose over those parallel channels, found resistance above them, and got drawn back beneath them. In fact, the lines that I drew last week that showed the bearish triangle that Bitcoin ended up breaking through to the upside have once again provided resistance now that Bitcoin has fallen below it. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that Bitcoin's going to break lower from here. We have conflicting narratives now. We have the bullish price action in terms of a higher high and a higher low, and we have the bearish price action of that triangle, which could indicate that Bitcoin's going to sell off. But right now we're range bound and we're likely going to be this way until there's something more significant that happens in the space. Bitcoin does remain correlated to big tech stocks. As you can see, it rallied on Friday along with the rest of the market. And so if the market ends up selling off, it's a potential that Bitcoin will sell off too. Of course, there are times when Bitcoin breaks that correlation, both to the bull side and to the bear side. So it is potentially possible that even if the stock market continues to rally, Bitcoin could sell off in the coming days and weeks. In the past, whenever there's been regulation or anything new that comes into the cryptocurrency space, it actually doesn't seem to have much of an effect. In 2017, when we were going into Bitcoin's highs around $20,000, the futures were introduced and it was supposed to be bullish, but it ended up being nothing. Instead of heading higher, Bitcoin sold off from the $20,000 high it saw in 2017 all the way down to $31,30 at the end of 2018. So the futures market really didn't do anything for Bitcoin. Going forward from here, I've heard a lot of bulls say that the happening that's supposed to take place next April is going to have bullish price action right now as investors try to front run it and buy into it right now. The bears are arguing that there isn't enough volume in the Bitcoin space, and we're going to see a really big sell-off, with many bearish analysts predicting that we're going to see the lows of last year around 15500 break, and that Bitcoin's going to head through to $12,000 to $13,000 before it finds support. And for me, that's why I have a plan for both directions. What am I going to do if Bitcoin goes up, and what am I going to do if Bitcoin goes down? If Bitcoin sells off, I'll continue to buy and I'll increase my quantities as Bitcoin becomes more and more oversold. In the meantime, if you want to follow along in all the moves that I make in Bitcoin, you can do so free of charge in my week in review on my website, geturk.com, which is always 100% free. Please hit like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I'll see you in the next video.